it sure as hell was not designed for inverters and high output alternators and, mm -hmm. and all the kind of stuff we put on our boats these mm -hmm. days. Hello and welcome to another one of our Boat How To Ask The Expert series. I'm Jan Attenstedt. And I'm Nigel Calder. And uh, today we got a question on Facebook from somebody who um, has an older boat from the 80s and uh, which was built to standard then. And um, he was wondering what from our perspective or actually from Nigel's perspective um, would be the most important thing um, to upgrade to and uh, to make sure that his boat is safe and, uh, and mm -hmm. standards compliant with these days. Well, he's not going to like the answer. <laughs> um, because uh, when that boat was built, the expectation were, was that the uh, electrical loads would be pretty light. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it sure as hell was not designed for inverters and high output alternators and, mm -hmm. and all the kind of stuff we put on our boats these mm -hmm. days. So uh, almost certainly all of the conductors are undersized for the kind of loads we have now. Mm -hmm. And if it's a Far East built boat, the bus bars may be brass. Brass has about 28% the conductivity of copper. Mm -hmm. So you need you know four times as much brass to have the same conductivity. So, so there's going to be all kinds of issues. And the likelihood is that if he wants to have a serious offshore cruising boat, mm -hmm. and I say he, but it's, um, I know it was a he we got the question from, but she as well, you're going to have to gut the boat and start again. Yeah. And it's not what anybody wants to hear, but it's not good trying to splice mm -hmm. modern systems onto an old uh, wiring harness. Mm. The first thing that has to be done here is that you have to figure out your lifestyle. Yeah. Then you've got to figure out what the energy needs of that lifestyle are. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, we have a whole module with our energy systems planner, which actually is, to my mind, the best planner of its kind available at the mm -hmm. moment, where you can track, where you can put all your loads and you can, how long you use them. And, you, and then you can figure out conductor sizes and overcome potential mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. So you really need to go through this whole energy audit exercise mm -hmm. yeah to figure out then how many batteries you need, what kind of charging devices, how big the conductors are going to be, uh, and then you can generate a proper design and wiring diagram mm -hmm. for the boat. Yeah. Uh, and it's no good trying to fudge this stuff. Yeah. If you want to want to have a safe and re reliable system, you probably won't get around to, to changing it. And yeah, the stuff that Nigel talked about is actually um, modules of our Boat Electrics 101 course where um, we talk in detail about how to do such planning for complete rewiring jobs mm -hmm. and um, how to do it in a safe and re reliable way to make sure that your batteries last long enough, so how to properly size them. There's really a bunch that you can learn there. We think it's actually a really good investment if you pay a little bit for our course and then save a lot on expensive mistakes because you get the wrong wrong stuff or do something wrong yeah. or in the worst case burn up your boat because uh, there's actually quite a few things you can yeah. can go wrong when you when you want to rewire a boat and let's be clear at the end of the day after you've done this you will have spent a fair bit of money mm -hmm. uh, you will not recover what you spend on the boat yeah. and when you come to sell it um, that's so true you need to be able to use the boat. Yeah. So it's not good doing this and then thinking you're going to sell the boat and make a profit. It's not like flipping a house. No, definitely not. You, you do this for to have a decent cruising lifestyle yeah. and to go and enjoy the boat and yeah. preferably for a number of years. Yeah. And uh, to have the peace of mind that actually you know your system, you can fix it yourself if something goes wrong. And uh, yeah, basically for overall uh, sales reliance, if you're, if you're cruising, every boat owner should, should have that in mind when he, when he ventures out there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Nigel. And Thank uh, see you guys soon.